Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today I'm going to be reviewing this fella, Brewdog, and their Indie, um, an independent pale ale, 4.2%. And uh, what have I done with the blood tin over there? Bocker. So, yeah, we'll get there in the end. So, this out. So I've just done a day at work, come home and spent another two hours in the garden. Eh? Splitting grasses. And uh, grasses, because you can, uh, ornamental grasses, not actual grass. But grasses are great because you can split them, dig them up, split them apart. You, just, you can do it with pulling them apart. And sometimes you have to use a spade or a knife to really get them apart. And uh, so I've gone from 16 plants mm, to about 160. Roughly every plant's gone into 10. A bit smaller at the moment, give them a few months to grow, especially in this weather, and they'll be great. So, Golden Poor Whitehead. Uh, totally new to me. So it says here easy going craft beer, an accessible and approachable pale ale made independently in Scotland. Stripped back and sessionable, this is craft beer for the people. Light hints of pear and banana sit on the caramel and biscuit malt backbone. Definitely got the pear. And I do like pear as well, sounds nice. Not getting the banana yet? Oh no, no. Got a little bit of banana, but the pear was really quite at the forefront. Quite a nice light beer. Um, again, like it says, sessionable. So it says it, it is not overly complicated or complex. The new version is a rock solid drinkable pale ale. And sometimes it's nice just to have beers that do what they say on the tin and not having to look for complexities. Basically, do what we all want. And that's something you can just drink and uh, you can taste a bit of what's in it. But as long as it's palatable and drinkable, um, that's how it should be. So I just watched the old daily uh, news uh, update on coronavirus, and I've got to say, the press just do my nothing. They always ask the same questions, and they're the wrong questions. So, the news this morning about in France, doctors in France, and you know, have confirmed somebody there was tested back in December. They retested it multiple times. This specimen. And he had coronavirus at the end of December. And um, my sister-in-law was over from the States and she had the wickedest cold, the flu. And she was really rough with it. She's a nurse. So, you know. And then me, basically me sister-in-law's husband, different sister, he got it, whatever it was, got it, was very ill, went into hospital with pneumonia, seriously ill. And does it not, these things, you know, it just wonders, I just wonder if it was around before that, you know, before we know that it was around. It just makes you wonder. Luckily both of them recovered as well. Just add, I'll add to that. Oh, another glorious night. I'm trying to get lots of work done before the weekend. Because obviously we don't know if there's going to be any updates, any changes. 
and uh, and not only that, it's going to be a bloody lovely weekend. So it'd be nice to get in the garden uh, in the hot tub, chill out in the sun, without having to worry about doing any gardening. That's the hope, anyway. And do have one or two beer reviews, as you do. Yeah, I think I might need to knock knock it knock, knock it on the head this week and not buy any more beers. I think I've got enough. So Brewdog, if you don't know about Brewdog and you like craft beers, then there's something wrong, something very wrong. Their amount of beers is unbelievable. Their collaboration beers, again, some fantastic beers. Um, and, uh, you know, there's just way too many to pick an absolute favourite. Elvis Juice is really good. Uh, the Double IPA, Mr President, I think that's Double IPA. It's really good. There was a praline porter that they bought out a while back. I can't remember the actual name of it. But yeah, that was nice too. And uh, I mean, I can remember when, back in 2010, when um, Punk IPA was probably the only craft beer that was in the big supermarkets at the time. Uh, most of it was just normal bitters and that sort of thing. And how it's exploded since then. And in fact, at the time, it didn't really sell well. Um, <clears throat> we had loads of it go out of date in Sainsbury's. Yeah, four cans for a quid. They were the days. They were the days. Oh, dear. I ain't about. So, I must have spent a tenner on cans. Yes, they were the days. I enjoyed them days. Now I have to pay full price and then some. <clears throat> you can definitely taste the biscuit. I struggle with caramel sometimes. Obviously it's malty. And uh, what it is, very sessionable, easy drinking. And going down a tree when the sun's come out. So, uh, Golden Paw, White Head, on the nose, definite pear. A little bit lesser banana, you do get it, but lesser. On the taste, malty. It's uncomplicated, it's, it is what it is. It's just a, uh, a very drinkable pale ale. Um, into biscuit, mould, um, yeah, and uh, very re-drinkable as well. You know, it, it it's just a good beer. And again, if you're a lager person, this is a, an interesting beer. There's not too much aroma there, not too much in the taste, and it's definitely that step up you might need, like, as most pale ales, to be frank, are, you know, and I'm Billy. Um, yeah. But um, very drinkable, very quaffable. And now back to the gardening. Didn't leave any end of the. Oh, that would be a sacrilege. So, Brew Dogs Indie. 4.2% independent pale ale. Don't know what it means by that, really. Because um, if it's made by them, why would it be independent? But hey, anyway, they, they know what they're on about. Um, yeah, liked it. Um, just a nice subtle aroma. Although you could pin, you had to, you know, you had to go for it to get the aroma. But um, and a nice taste. Um, can't really fault it at all. Um, definitely one for you know a traditional beer fan who doesn't like the oppy stuff. This is a beer that will please you. You know, uh, sessionable beer fans as well, and certainly lager drinkers. Something to dip your toes in waters. Um, out of five, 4.2 out of five, same as the actual alcohol content. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, obviously, it's not got no complexities or anything like that, and it, it is what it is. It's just um, does what it says on the tin, sort of thing. Right, that's it for this review. Um, thanks for watching. See you soon. Stay safe. And cheers.